The Stock of the Day is brought to you by IG, Australia's number one CFD provider. With over 17,000 markets and extended trading hours, turn US earnings season volatility into opportunity. Get started at IG.com. And the stock of the day is Goodman Group. So today, updating the market says that it expects to grow its earnings per share by 9% in FY25 to 30 cents per share. So in its latest operational update, Goodman also is anticipating demand for data centers to continue to grow. As of the end of September, its total portfolio value was $78.8 billion with a pretty sweet occupancy rate of 97.4%. Stock, though, is only up by about two-tenths of a percent. So let's go to my expert guests, Michael Wayne from Medallion Financial and Philip Pepe from Shaw and Partners. We had a guest on earlier today, actually a guy you might know named James Garish, who said that, look, consensus is just so bullish on Goodman Group. Is it bullish enough though? I mean, it's a great company um, and they made a, I'm going to call it a pivot, they made a great pivot on investment in data centers early 12 months, 18 months or so ago. And that's, um, that's been delivering. That's probably where the bullishness comes from. Their res- recent result, which is a quarterly, talked about their industrial division. Um, again, full occupancy, probably start to see red increases come through if they can get those through in current economic conditions. Um, my, my view is, I think we will look back in five years time and analysts would have materially, potentially significantly underestimated the growth from data centers and the demand for data centers and what they can deliver. So um, this is a great stock. It's been a market darling for quite a while, perhaps, um, you know, 25, 26 times PE for a company that's just guided to single digit EPS growth. Normally you'd say, yeah, analysts are, well, the share price is a lot more bullish than analysts are, maybe at times takes some profits. Um, but for me, this has become a data center play. So I like it for that reason. However, it probably is fully priced. Any, any sort of slip, um, you'll probably see the stock sell off for reasons other than maybe it's priced for perfection. So if you're buying it because of data centers, buy a pure play data center, buy Next DC. Um, Next DC is probably fair value to expensive, but if you're playing the data center theme, play a pure play, they're going to keep growing, they're pushing into Asia. So I like Goodman, I'm going to call it a hold, given that, you know, 26 times PE for a single digit EPS growth. There's better value out there, um, but it's a great business, so I'll, yeah. I'll call it a hold. Okay, interesting. I was just reading a note from um, RBC Capital Markets, actually, talking about hyperscaler data demand and the demand, a uh, data center thematic, talking about not Goodman Group, but Next DC Megaport, and Macquarie Telecom. So to Philip's point, if you're looking for that data center play, do you look to something other than a Goodman Group? Because that's what sent its share price to the extremes that we've seen. Yeah, potentially. I mean, look, it's not the worst thing in the world to have something that's a bit diversified and it's able to do these pivots. Um, but yeah, Integral is something that we hold. Uh, oh, sorry, Integral. Infratrill is something that we hold for that data center exposure. But that too is somewhat quite diversified. Um, but I do think it's an area that you want to be exposed to because the long-term thematic makes a lot of sense. Um, looking at Goodman Group more specifically, this is one that we hold and have held for a long time. It's sort of top 10 in our managed fund. It's certainly not cheap at the moment, um, but it's one of those companies that never really screens cheap relative to its peers. We will probably have it as a hold at the moment because it is sort of going through a bit more of a challenging environment when it comes to sort of deploying new money into new projects. There's no doubt that the project's underway will be very lucrative, but then you've got to look at to, into the future as to the cost of delivering those projects. Um, we also expect funds under management to continue to grind higher, although you know that the greatest growth in, in funds under management has probably occurred. Um, but it's a company that perennially under delivers, um, sorry, under promises, over, over delivers. delivers. Um, so I wouldn't be expected, I wouldn't be surprised um, to see that 9% EPS growth target increase as the 12 months goes on as they've done in, in previous years. But I'd call this result fairly clean, certainly nothing glaringly negative. Um, it's just sort of business as usual for Goodman Group, which I think is a, a positive thing. I mean, that they avoided any massive slip up or any massive surprise. So we have a hold on it and we will continue to hold it. Um, I think it's one of those companies that even if it did report poorly, it's got so much goodwill built up behind it that it'd probably get one or two chances to recover from that before the the market penalised it too harsh because it's probably a lot of the market waiting for a slip up to deploy the money into something like this given 
it has a pretty unblemished track record ever since the GFC. Um, so probably the highest quality real estate linked company on the ASX. I just find it fascinating then because you wouldn't be tempted to pay for quality now because if you do want to gain exposure to Goodman Group and it's yep. likely not going to slip up and new money will pour in if it does slip up, that doesn't that mean you, know, yeah, you, you could never get your chance? It's tempting. I mean, we <coughs> haven't been adding to it for like new clients and yeah. in our fund, we've just sort of been man maintaining the okay. weight as new fund flows come through. But um, it's one of those very high quality companies that you could almost just put in your bottom drawer, look at it in five years and just watch the earnings compound over that time frame. But expectations are pretty elevated in this stock at the moment. Okay. Thank you, guys. So solid hold for our stock of the day being Goodman Group. The stock of the day was brought to you by IG. Turn volatility into opportunity this US earnings season with extended trading hours on over 110 key US shares. Get started at IG.com.